Hi, we thought we'd tell you something about ourselves and why we're called Country Wives. So over to you, Grace. You... Well, <clears throat> Annabelle, me, Grace, and Ellie, who can't be with us at the moment because she's in Cheltenham running a highly successful award-winning Japanese sushi bar, Kibu Sushi. If you're in the area, do pop in. It's well worth it. Uh, we were all young, wild, wild and single. Uh, in London in our youth, so obviously 200 years ago. <laughs> and um, Fun days. Fun yeah. days. And as happens to quite a lot of us, we all eventually got married, had kids and dogs and moved to the country. So Ellie lives in Gloucestershire, you live in Oxfordshire, Oxfordshire. I live in West Sussex. So we didn't really um, have a chance to get together. It was too far, too many husbands, too many dogs. But just wind back a little bit. We moved first, you and I. Yeah. But Ellie, who was real London girl, born and mm. bred, she did not want to move to the country and had to for various reasons. And uh, she, and so we used to email her as we couldn't meet up and tell her, you know, it's not so bad in mm. the country. It isn't all mud, rain and wellies. Um, and then somebody saw those emails, thought they were quite fun and said, why don't you publish them on a blog? We'd never heard of a blog before, but we never thought, heard oh, of a blog. Let, that's fine, yeah. why don't we do and that? And also we were apparently unusual because we were three of us doing a blog, not just one of us. So <clears throat> um, various things uh, happened. It um, got quite popular. We suddenly um, discovered we had lots of readers from all over the world. We learnt masses because, you know, being over 50 and learning how to uh, have a website and do social media and all those kind of things, it's all new but fascinating and we had this massive learning curve. In fact, to be fair, we still do have a massive yes. learning curve. Well, it's always changing, isn't it? But it is. And, and, and we, were, we were the first bloggers ever to appear at um, Henley Literary Festival. Festival that's right. It was all really... And then, well, it is still exciting. And then companies started to contact us and said, look, we've got a product or service that we think um, your readership might be interested in. Yeah. And so we started to write reviews. Yeah, but two things. One, we never do a negative review because our feeling is if we don't like it, what's the no. point of telling you about it? So we only do things we've uh, tried and tested, or as you're so fond of saying, so taste, tried and tasted, tasted with recipes. regard to our recipes, which are hugely popular. Um, but we also cover fashion, so things like fashion that will suit the older woman's figure. You know, for example, we don't necessarily want to have uh, sleeveless dresses anymore, and we don't want our knees to show, etc., etc. Uh, apart from wonderful quick and easy recipes because you know a lot of us are so busy we also do well-being yes health we? and beauty and we don't we we don't put ourselves out there as as beauty bloggers but we certainly uh, share with our readers things that we've found that little ti either tips or makeup um, products that enhance our natural beauty or make uh, obvious things go away like wrinkles so well, we haven't quite found it. No, we haven't made wrinkles yet, go away yet, yeah, but we'll let you know if we do. Um, but we also do reviews and we do things like a, a category we've got on the website called Wise Spend. So, for example, if we find a really good spiralizer or something for your garden or, or a dog lead or something that we think, you know, you as a country wife might like. And the other thing, of course, is that nearly everything we recommend, A, that we, I promise you, one of us or one of our equally ancient friends has tried and really liked and we um, have guest bloggers too yeah, we we, have, yes we have we guest have, bloggers um, emma who's uh, come on board and writes the reviews particularly on books and a lot of the products and then we have backpacking granny who's mm. a hoot and she travels uh she's often traveling the world with backpack and uh reports back stories and little catastrophes she <laughs> um, yeah so so it's all good fun and And if you're um, over positive. 50, you're bound to find something. Over 50 women, you know, you will find something that's useful to you on so, our website. So click onto our website. And it's very light-hearted. It's not serious. We don't profess to be professionals about anything, but we're just ordinary women um, trying to find good things for other ordinary women. Exactly. Which, of course, we're all special, really, aren't we? But anyway, so if you like our website, please tell your friends. And um, we look forward to communicating with you that way very soon. Bye.